You know at Galatasaray, we are a lot of things. One thing we're definitely not is boring. <laughs> I mean, look at that. 20 goal involvements in the last three games. Oh, it's, it's fun. It is a lot of fun in Turkey, I tell you. And it's definitely not going to stop with this next game. The Eternal Derby. Also, I've brought in Fatih Terim. Come on, that's a, that is a solid appointment, even if I do say so myself. The Galatasaray icon, I think, is classed as because of all these spells. But there was like a bunch of news items that came in when I signed him. Everyone was happy to see Fatih Terim back at the club. I'm like, yes, yes, boys. That's, you know, I'm doing the club proud. I'm doing the club proud. Getting, a, getting an icon in here. Love it. Buyram, welcome, merhaba, all that fun Turkish stuff, and welcome back to episode 2 of the Galatasaray section of Unemployed to Untouchable. This game today has got a hell of a lot riding on it. I mean, it's first versus second, the eternal derby. Let's just, let's just have a quick run through of everything since you were last here. The game I brought you... Yeah, I brought you the highlights of... I brought you the highlights of the Anorthosi game. The next... Well, the next one's uh, it was Riza Spore in the in the league. That was it was comfortable. It was pretty comfortable. They give us a slight scare here, and then they got sent off, and they ruined it. Uh, we played Zoria. Uh, we pretty much walked that as well. There wasn't that much of a scare going on there. And the, the last game that we played, another five-two against Denis Spore. Do you know what it was? It was a walkabout again. Um, <laughs> it's been the only thing that's kind of been worrying me a little bit is we're a little bit too leaky at the back to a little little tiny smidgen a little smidgen too leaky at the back for my liking but going forward we are unstoppable we are genuinely unstoppable so it's the eternal derby boys and girls it is an absolutely huge game i've tinkered about with things a little 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 bit more just a just a you know that word smidge just a smidge more um but this is a team that we're gonna go with against Fenerbahce so we're gonna go with Okan because Muslera has been injured for the last couple of weeks El Abdelawi Rojas Emin Lato Emre Kilinch Etebo Yusuf Yizici Ali Yavuz Troy Squawk and Una I've got, a, I've got a hell of a lot riding on this game because I, I don't want the Kalatasaray fans to be in my comment section and, you know, be getting all... So, yeah, I don't want that. I want to I wanna respect... I want to put up such a good performance that they all just come in and they're so happy to be absolutely smashing this derby. And if we can get another 5-2, I am not going to complain. It's, uh, it's Fenner with the first one. We've cleared it with Rojas with an absolutely cracking header. Not really cracking, was it? Well, that's ooh, ooh, ooh. This, ooh, this. If we start as we mean to go on, this is not going to be good for my heart. It is not going to be good for my heart. Fenner. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Everybody, calm down. False alert. Got our highlight with a Tebo, El Abdelawi, Emery, who loses the ball to Ferdi without an hand. Uh, <laughs> into and doy. This is oh man, I can't, I can't. This is this is pro the biggest game in terms of kind of like derbies. I feel like because the hatred between Turkish fans are absolutely the the passion is next level. <laughs> and then especially when it comes to this Galatasaray Fenerbahce game, oh, I can't. There can't be any slip ups. There can't be any slip ups. And considering that Fenerbahce won the won the title last year and beat us or beat Galatasaray last year a couple times, I think it was. They need. To, we need to get our own back. We need to get our own back. We've started off the better team in the league in terms. Fener have had a little bit more in this game, but we can't. We can't allow Fener to win that back-to-back -back title. We got to come and break their party. Is he going to send him off? He's having a. He's having my shorts down if he sends him off. Ref, don't be. That's why I thought. I swear, like, uh, they must have done something to this kind of, uh... Was that a foul? It was a foul! They've definitely done something to the VAR kind of system in the game because I've been playing and so many VAR decisions have been coming up for like, the smallest... It's 1-0. It is 1-0. I mean, by them, set pieces, people. 
Come on, Gala. 1 0. Massive header. Absolutely mahusive header. And it's that set piece that we've. I think Byram's already got like three or four goals this season from that exact same set piece at the near post. And he's pinged it in and they've cut my sentence short. I can't remember what I was talking about. Oh, they've cut it short again. It's 1 0, Fenner. Bloody hell. <laughs> right? They've, they've, they've replied. They've instantly replied. And it's 1-0 and Doi and Dodge. I don't know who. I've never heard of that player in my life. Poor from the keeper. is near post. It was a pretty well taken set piece. I won't even lie. It was a very well taken set piece. But yeah, in terms of the VAR system, I think they've they've definitely kind of tinkered. We've had a bit more pyro up there. Remember what I said about Turkey and the pyro? Oh boy. Um, but yeah, they've definitely they've definitely done something with the VAR because every little tiny kind of little thing gets checked for VAR, whether it be a penalty, a card, or flipping somebody sneezing on somebody else. But it's it's a little bit it's a little bit overkill, <laughs> which is it's two one Fenner. Ah, uh, yeah. That's not good. They've played it around us there, like we've we've not even I mean they've scored two really nice goals. I'm not even mad, but I'm just a little bit sad that Muslera has been injured for the last few games. And that might be uh a little bit of a downfall because our backup he's not he's not the worst, but He's a backup for a reason, do you know what I mean? And he's, he's never going to be as good as your number one. Let's see. Let's see if we can get anything. We're 2-1 down currently against Fenner, and it's not what I want to be seeing in the slightest. We're, we're not doing bad. They just, they've got quite a lot of men. Mm, it's 3-1. Ah, oh, This isn't good. Some, I have to, something's got to change. Something has to change. It's 3-1 Fenner. They've been absolutely slapping us. Ah. Ah, 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 indeed. <laughs> this is not good. We, I think we have to go a bit more attacking. Right, I've just moved one of my wingers up to uh, kind of mirror the other one on the other side. They've... They've, they've, they've slapped us. <laughs> they've absolutely slapped us. We've not had much going on other than that one... Uh... I want to hold the ball a bit more. Other than that one corner highlight, we took it. But other than that, it's been all Fenner. And it's not... I'm disappointing my Turkish brothers. I'm disappointing the Galatasaray fans. See, I was, I was coming into this game with, uh, with all that momentum bloody hell with all that momentum from the last games and it's all gone to pot we're not we're not <laughs> we're just not matching Fenner they've got to have a lot more other than if we can get something from this and try and claw our way back into it we know is it gonna go VAR again he's gonna go VAR again you see what I mean about this <laughs> it's the first game first game on today and it's already had two and then I think I showed it in the last couple of videos as well. They just review everything. If he wants to give me a penalty, though, I'm not going to... I won't complain. He's giving me a bloody penalty. Ladies and jelly spoons, he's give me a flipping penalty. <laughs> How was that a penalty? I did, oh, I wish he gave me a red. Who's taking it? Yusuf Yazici. Come on, son. Get us back into the game. Get us back into it. Oh, it's 3-2. Come on, Gala. I thought the game froze then, genuinely. Uh, it's 3-2, Gala. Come on, boys. We need to make this count now. Demand more. Oh, this this. I mean, you see what I mean? We are not... We're anything but boring. <laughs> Another five goals in this game. Oh. Another six goals in this game. Flipping hell, they've, they've genuinely scored some of the most ridiculous goals in this game. I think I've probably seen in FM. I mean, come on, that's not even fair. We get the block in and he just slams it home. How do you tackle a problem like Fenerbahce? Because they are tearing us a new one. It's 5-2. It's what has happened to our defence? 
What has happened to our defense? I'm ashamed to put this video up on YouTube now. <laughs> I can't believe we've been absolutely slapped. Deary me. 5 2 to Fenerbahce. I was coming into this game thinking, yeah, we've we've got momentum. We've you know, we should, it'll be a good game. 5 2. I'm scared to show my face. <laughs> I'm scared to show my face in public now. I mean, it's one thing losing then, you know, fair play kind of thing, but 5 2. Right, well, I know I mentioned in the last episode, but I'll make ourselves feel better. We'll we'll play the Trabs on Sport game. I was going to bring them, but they've seemed to have kind of fallen off a cliff um, in the last couple of years. So I'll bring Eintracht Frankfurt as the next game and try and lift our hopes, I guess. 5-2. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Right, well, even the the game against Trabs once Spore did not go according to plan either because uh, Mr. Killinch there royally messed that up, but a 90th minute penalty saved us kind of uh, from an embarrassment on our second defeat in a row, to be fair. We should have, our XG was two, so we should have put away at least some of the chances we were getting. We, boy, something's uh, something's not ticking along as it as it should be here, and I'm not liking it. But I'm gonna bring you this Eintracht Frankfurt game as well, and I'm gonna bring on Diagne just cause Troy Parrot. He's been a bit of a parrot recently. He's not been uh, he's not been very good, and I'm bringing back in Muslera. Now, if he gets injured, it's not it's not the best, it's not the cleverest thing I'm ever going to do. But I think this is the team that we go with. Yeah, like I was saying, if we do beat Frankfurt in this kind of game here, I'm pretty confident, even if it is our second uh, game of the group stage, that we go, that we go, that we do go rather pretty comfortably and then I can uh, afford to make some changes here and there but our form's have been a bit uh it's been a bit suspect let's call it it's been a bit suspect the last uh, the game against Fenner and then especially that last game against Trabs Bond Spore we've just not taken our chances whatsoever anything that came that our way we completely fluffed it but it's a good start against uh against Frankfurt here with owner getting that first uh, chance unlucky he didn't put it away but we've got a corner and that is our bread and butter and that could be a penalty a referee my friend i mean there's something something's happened for it to warrant this many var decisions i mean half the, literally half the videos is going to be me talking about the var and the referee looking at penalties if you get, i mean i don't complain when he gives it yeah, i love it when he gives it it's just when he doesn't give it and he wastes my time. Penalty. Right, see, this is prime example when I love it. And Diagne is going to bag it because he bagged his last one. And he's a he's a certified bad man. Go on, Diagne, my lad. See, see what I mean? He's just a... He's a top boy. He's a top boy. And that is 1-0 Galatasaray. I just hope Muslera doesn't get a, a longer injury because... If there's one person who has been suspect, and I believe is the downfall to this uh, dodgy, dodgy run of form, it's been Okan Kochuk, I think his name, or Kuchuk. Okan, I definitely know it's Okan. He's, I think, I reckon he's the, uh, he's the spy, he's the saboteur in our team. But Muslera, club legend. But there's not much happening. Frankfurt, they, Frankfurt have been the better team in terms of shots, but. We've taken the chance. We've taken the chances. And we've got another one of our specialties here. See if we can make anything of it. Still got it with Lato. And we've not got it with Lato. And we're going to get counter rack tartoed. That's not fun. Ooh, good job he's, uh, he's, not the, he's not the best striker about. Alright, I'm not happy. Not happy at all. I wonder what's happened. I wonder what's happened. I don't think it's I don't think it's time to go back to the drawing board yet. 
in terms of uh, messing about with the with the tactic and whatever else but something's uh something has to give <laughs> something has to give because they're not as uh defensively solid i don't think we ever were defensively solid we are still banging in goals but uh yeah there's you know when something's just a bit when it's just a bit smells you know when you get that milk and it's been sat in your fridge and you just you're just wondering if it's ready. It's something's it's a bit like that. It's that waffy milky. Can I still use this formation tactic milky spell? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And it's for me to find out if I can. Who tastes the milk? That's the real question. It, it would it might be Diagne with that kind of header. It might be him. Long throwing Lato. He's found Diagne, who's found owner, and it's 2-0. Wonderful. Wonderful. Bread, butter, owner, 2 nil. Easy like clockwork. Absolute clockwork. Such a that's really, really nicely worked goal. If I'm being completely honest, that is such a nicely worked goal. And that is an unreal save from Muslera. That is flipping silly what he's just done there. What a man. Not too, I don't think I'm too worried about Frankfurt kind of uh, getting back into it because we've got Superman in, in between the sticks apparently. I don't everyone else can do it. You can just go have a little lie down. We've got Muslera there. See, I feel like a, an 80 not, I don't think he's 80%, like a 60-70% to Muslera is better than our backup which is, uh, it's not the best thing ever, is it? <laughs> it's not the best thing ever, but I might have to be on the out on the lookout for another Muslera, because he's on his he's on his last legs. He's an old man. He's got that Zimmer frame. He's 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 bowing out. I don't think he's retiring anytime soon. I hope not anyway. But Yusuf, oh that's it's another it's another lovely little goal. Well, I'm on about goalkeeper retirement. The, my boys, they're just they're doing me proud. I don't know why you couldn't have done me proud in the game against Fenner. You know, you're, you're saving it for the Germans. But no, Eternal Derby, you want to get absolutely pumped 5-2. That's, that's, that wasn't fun. And I have to upload that now. I can't skip it. I have to upload a 5-2 pumping. 3-0, three, three am I saving face? I'm not saving face. A little bit, but not really. <laughs> but not really. be nice if we can keep a clean sheet as well after these absolutely crazy games that we've been involved in. I won't mind a clean sheet. Owners run it back there really nicely. If you can get a fourth, just put a cherry on the icing on the top of the cake. Uh, doesn't look like it, <laughs> but it's all right. It's all right. We've been it's been a solid performance against Frankfurt. To kind of bounce back from those pretty dreadful kind of games in the league that we just had against uh, Fenner, Fenner and Trabs one spore. Three 0 Wonderful stuff. I mean, it's not it's not wonderful stuff really, but. <laughs> We took our chances, they didn't, and to be quite frank, Muslera has completely, completely saved us there. I want to see what rating he got. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to see kind of after this game, but can we see? An 8.4 with 11 saves and 30%, 30 passes, so... Well done, Muslera. I was right to put you in, even though you had an injury. But yeah, that's been, again, I apologize for this. <laughs> uh, it's, a big, it's, a big, it's a big apology for me because I did not think that would, uh, that would happen like that. It's kind of embarrassing. Um, where do we come back? Maybe play, play, maybe play the rest of this month and see kind of how things are looking in the Euro Cup. Maybe come back for that Zordia game and this Turkish fifth Turkish Cup game, something like that. I reckon we should do it or just kind of play it by ear because there's not too many teams uh, kind of around us. Apart from maybe we come back for this Genkler, um, I don't know how to say that, Genkler Birgli uh, game. But more, I reckon we come back for Zordia and maybe double it with this Turkish fifth round game just to see how the league's looking, how the uh, 
European conference is looking. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Fenner fans have probably enjoyed it more than Gala fans. I'll be I'll be perfectly honest, but sorry. Um, yeah, I'll see you around here. I hope in a bit. <laughs>